So today I'm going to be talking about the Chow Garden, only accessible in the game Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast, GameCube, and now Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Lately, Sonic games have been going downhill. Well, technically they started going downhill nearly 10 years ago with the game we all know and make fun of, Sonic 06. I really think Sega needs to stop, turn around, and go down the road they did in the late 1990s and early 2000s where we got games like Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, etc. Games like Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Fighters are alright, but they're not great. And when I finish them, it leaves me with a what now feeling. With Sonic Adventure 2, I didn't get that feeling, even after finishing the game. I still had many more hours spent on the game because of the Chow Garden. It has you replaying levels in order to get these little parts for upgrading your Chow's speed, stamina, fly, etc. And afterwards, you can have your Chow do a race, or if you have Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, do karate and fucking bet on which Chow you believe will come out victorious. You can also walk up to the Chow Kindergarten and give your little asshole a name, check the doctor to see your Chow's quote-unquote health, and you can walk up to what they call the Black Market, located in a closet where you can buy drugs from other Chows. Specific items you buy and give to your Chow majorly affect its growth, and there are a lot of different ways these motherfuckers can grow. I'll throw on a link in the description leading to a website in which you can check out all the different ways to breed a ch uh, pretty kick-ass chow. Furthermore, to the point, imagine a chow garden with next-gen graphics, a bigger, better, more customizable chow garden, an online option in which you can show other people your garden, a black market in which you didn't have to haul whatever you want to sell over there to sell it. They don't realize the potential the chow garden actually has, I'm not saying they should create a game purely to dick around in the chow garden. Though, hell, I had friends who bought Sonic Adventure 2 purely to dick around in the Chow Garden. What I'm talking about is a game similar to Sonic Adventure 2, but a new story, faster paced gameplay, and more characters. I want to play a Shadow, Tails, Knuckles, and all those other motherfuckers again. But the most important thing they should bring back, in my opinion, is the Chow Garden. Now this is all subjective, because some people may not like the Chow Garden. There are people out there who actually prefer the newer Sonic games than the older ones, and that's just fine. But a Chow Garden in the newer games, I guarantee, would add to the replay value, even if all they did was upgrade the graphics. Now I know this video is pretty pointless, considering it's been years since Chow's even made an appearance in a Sonic game, correct me if I'm wrong, but I truly believe that if they listen to the consumers some, they'll know how to make a pretty badass game. Thank you guys so much for watching, please leave a like, and tell me your thoughts. Peace.